Barbary Shuffle. We'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, in the recent past, we got this Four of Swords, and it's paired with the King of Swords. That's an interesting combination. Now, the Four of Swords, it's a card that's signifying a need for a break. Could be from normal life, or a person, or a situation. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It occasionally means illness or time in the hospital. Those are two examples of when you go away and then you come back. Some type of withdrawal. So this would have been a clear sign to give people their space in the recent past. You were probably needing some time and space to yourself. Others could have been pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. But it would have been important for you not to hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others said no to you at that time, you should have or you did take them at their word. Because if you pushed in the circumstance, it would have been asking for trouble. So it's paired with the King of Swords, which stands for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. Now, he will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could have been tempted to think only about how things affected you personally, particularly if this is not representing a man in your life. So you would have needed to consider the feelings of others before you act or before you acted out. King of Swords, a very, very forceful energy. You probably were not able to get this person to change their mind or to do what you want or to do what you wanted in the recent past. So you may have or you did change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations but it was important for you not over to it was important for you not to overextend your reach so with these two cards paired together for you for the recent past four of swords and king of swords i'm showing that you were dealing with someone that was really that was like this king of swords they were very forceful they overstepped their bounds this king of swords is a type that will mistreat you very forceful arrogant they use their head over their heart um yeah this king of swords this type of person that you you dealt with in the recent past they made you feel like you needed some solitude and recovery. So it wasn't easy dealing with this type of person. I don't know. This is a love reading. So for most of you, it was a love interest. But some of you, it could be a family member or a friend. Somebody felt like it felt like someone took you through the ringer. Because of their, their attitude or just their way of thinking. They were very forceful, opinionated. They only, it felt like they only thought about them, themselves. Yeah, so you probably sometimes felt like you had to protect yourself. They're stereotypically manly. And they do overstep their bounds. And it just made you want to withdraw. And that's what you probably did. Because this man in this Four of Swords, it looks like he went away somewhere. Looks like the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him, four swords, and a candle. Yeah, he lit the candle, put it at the bottom of his foot. He surrounded himself with swords, just in case anyone disturbed him. Or in case that narcissist, the King of Swords is considered a narcissist. In case that narcissist, narcissist came after him, or came looking. He'd let him know to back off. Yeah. 
It's about some recovery and solitude, rest, renewal, and retreating. So you dealt with someone that was hmm, like a narcissist. Pushy. It's all about them. It's all about their needs and wants. Forceful. And this person would have, they would have, they would cut you. He's got that huge sword in his hand. But anyway, thank God that's a recent past. Let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up for the present time. Now, we got the Three of Swords, which is not pretty. And we got the Hermit card. Now, the Three of Swords, it's showing an element of sorrow that can be undeniable. But what's on the flip side of this sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sadness, sorrow, or pain that comes up. And you want to do this so that you can move past it. Now, this card, it does point to very deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny pain, it does not make it go away. So, make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However... You are the only one who can decide how long enough how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Now, that's the 3 of swords. It's with the hermit card, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card in the tarot. You may feel like you're in the frame of mind where you need some time alone so don't be afraid to take it even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head this is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so we got for the present time coming up or it could be going on happening around now or it could go into October because this is a September this is the week of fourth week of September reading time is fluid when you get these readings so keep that in mind now because you got three of swords and the hermit and it's clarified with the hermit card so I'm picking up that a lot of you cancers you're still dealing with this person from the recent past because the recent past could have been a week ago a month ago three months ago six months ago or more you're still dealing with them it looks like you took your break you withdrew but like i said you come back with the four of swords you always come back yeah you can't stay gone forever it's about renewal so now you, you come back and it looks like you're experiencing heartbreak. Yeah, you and this person could sever ties. Because that's what the Three of Swords can be about. Severing ties. There's rejection. Shutting each other out. So it looks like you, you, you want some time alone. You're going to be wanting just to be by yourself. To clear your head and get rid of some baggage. That's what this Hermit card does. Yeah, relationships it's, with the Hermit card, it's not a priority for you right now. Relationships are not a private priority. So being with this person is not what you're thinking about. You want time alone. You two are rejecting each other, shutting each other off, shutting each other out. And you feel closed off from this connection. So you start to sever ties. And there's heartbreak and sadness. So you must have had a lot of feelings for this person. You probably didn't know when you first met them that they were narcissistic. So that's what you got yourself involved with. So now there's heartbreak, sadness. You feel rejected. They probably feel rejected. And you just want time alone. Okay, so that is 
the present time. Let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is. We got this Ten of Swords and the Tower card. Now the Ten of Swords is showing that you have to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, if you look at the picture, Ten of Swords is the card above the word challenge. It's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind whenever one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Ten of Swords is with the Tower. Tower is about trying to hold on too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. When you get this card, you have to roll with the changes because it's likely some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you. They may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change is the nature of life. So if you're going to try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. But that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart this month. Just know that dreaming is important, but it is also important to be living in reality. So for the challenge, Ten of Swords is clarified with the Tower. So... Like I said, you're going through something with this this person. There's heartbreak. There's closing each other off. There's withdrawal. There's sadness. And now there's... It looks like with this Ten of Swords here, this connection feels like it's ruined. It's over. You feel like it's a failure. You feel defeated. There's no trust anymore. And it looks like it comes crashing down. But the good thing about this, when you get the tower, you're enlightened. You're enlightened by this disaster. You're, you're awakened. It comes crashing down, but things are brought to light. And you're awakened. So that's the challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Five of Cups and the Two of Wands. Now the Five of Cups, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life it has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So what are you going to choose to focus on? The, impl the implication it's probably going to be clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you have to watch where you put your focus. Just make sure that the focus is for your highest good because the Five of Cups is about disappointment. Five of Cups is about loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, or you could just be feeling unloved. So watch where you put your focus, because this, if you see the Five of Cups, is the card above the word outcome. He's got five cups. Four of them are just on the, on the ground. Everything that was in it is spilled out. No good. But he's got two healthy cups in his hand, and everything is still in the cups. So, but he's looking down at the ground on the ones that have, that have poured out. So watch where you put your focus. Don't focus on what's spilled out on the ground. Yep, so that's the Five of Cups. It's clarified with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things, like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands it indicates a partnership with another person. This Now, to keep in mind, this could be business, or it could be personal, or both. But it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. Okay, so Two of Wands, it's also about 
having two paths, two paths towards a future. So you, it's about having two options because the two of wands is a card below the word outcome. Now, if you take a look at it, he's tied to both wands. He's got his hand tied to one wand and his ankle is tied to the other wand. But he's more focused toward the, the wand that has his ankle tied and he's got his, he's looking at a bird in that direction. So it's about trying to make a decision. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision now, Cancers. Because there's disappointment. This connection didn't work out like you thought it would or hoped it would. And it looks like it's just falling apart. But you realize you got you got you got some other option there. You got more than just one option. You're trying to figure out which which path to take now. Yeah, so like I said, it's there's it's about you have disappointment here, but you have to watch where you put your focus. You do have options. You have two you it looks like you have another choice that you have to make and one looks really good because he's smiling at this bird and he's got his ankle tied to it and he's he's focused more in that direction so he got something good there I can tell so you have to stay away from the from the disappointment or just get out of that frame of mind of focusing on what what fell apart so that's a reading that I have for you cancer I hope you enjoy the reading I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just know that it will pass and we'll all get through this. So, hang in there. Stay strong. Please come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this reading does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So, Cancer, I can never see it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I hope that you have a great day. Take care.